I'm Nadia Escobar, and as you all may know, it's homecoming season, and many parents are getting their children's moms ready for game day. Homecoming moms are traditionally known to have been first seen in Texas in 1930, but the trend actually started in Missouri. It started with a simple flower and has blossomed into an extravagant accessory. Some schools start in elementary, so it's very simple, small baby flower, maybe the 50 cent size, where it comes with, there's hair mums too, so that's a thing. Um, but in middle school, it begins with the parents to the girls or to the boys, and then in high school, it's kind of, they start to exchange with one another. Ruby Adame is the homecoming manager at Superstar Crafts and Homecoming. She has been specializing in mums for about eight years now, and she has seen the tradition evolve a lot over the years. Now you find them to where they have braids, they have loops, they have names, they have cricket cutouts, uh, they have, it's everything is so customized. The bears are dressed now, they even have eyelashes, bows, tiaras, like it is evolved drastically for sure. Adama says each year the mums get bigger and bigger, which means they get more and more expensive. But they try to help out families stay in budget. We just like to be able that every student or every child is able to actually have something. Um, so it does go on to where we like to keep everything um, balanced in the store. Although the tradition didn't start here in the Lone Star State, it was definitely made bigger here in Texas. In Corpus Christi, Nadia Escobar, Christic Sunrise.